I liked the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me, so I left it alone. It's always sad when an old tradition comes to an end. Did you have anything to do with it? See, si, you. Well, I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very easily, senor. Very easily. I'm going to find out why my horse has stopped. And that means going into the house. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. The main part of the house was old, but nowhere near as old as the gatehouse section. I love suits of armor. Who doesn't? I hid behind the armor and waited for developments. Hey, you! I know you are there, American. All right, you dogs, I'm coming. Madre Dios, who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, Senor Stobart. There's been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. Here? There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago there was. What do you mean? This whole thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important, they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? I believe that they have planted some clues here. <laughs> Why should I believe a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look around. If I find nothing... You'll be spending the night at the police station. Very well. Please, sit down.
Thank you. I know your family is involved with the Templars, but I don't know how. You should be asking how my family were involved, Senor Stobart. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago. And as for the Vasconcelos, the line died with me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Okay, whatever happened, happened almost 700 years ago. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're going to be in stuff that dates back to the early 14th century. Obviously. So, what do you have around here that's early medieval? Early medieval, let me think. Well, the house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Or, of course, the chess set. That chess set is over 600 years old? It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Not that I would part with it, of course. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. Sorry. Its value is less than you might think. The set is not complete. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stobart. May I examine the chess set? Certainly. But do not move any of the pieces. Okay, thanks. Close up, the modern piece stood out like a sore thumb. There was something else odd about the set. All of the original pieces had irregular bases. My lady, I have to warn you, there's a... You! Why, I feed you to the dogs. Lopez, what have I told you about feeding intruders to the dogs? But, my lady... Never without my permission. Senor Stobart, if I find that you're wasting my time, you will be fed to the dogs. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Follow me. Lopez, unlock the door, Papa Boy. This is the only remaining structure on the estate for temple of the temple. Nice. What is it, a summer house? A mausoleum, Senor Stobart. Oh. Come with me. Hey, senor. Yeah? I do not know what you have told my lady to be shown these favors, but I do not trust you. You've got nothing to worry about. Aren't you coming in? No, the dead do not interest me. My garden is a living thing. I will be there. This is old. It was constructed in the 13th century as the final resting place for the Devas Concelos Templars. It's well maintained. These are my ancestors, and they deserve respect. I come here at least once a week to say a prayer. Mind if I have a look around? A by all means. In front of the shrine was a lectern with a Bible on it. On removing the Bible, I found a pattern on the lectern top. Hey! It's a checkerboard! The lectern top had a pattern of glass squares on it. Close up, I could see that the pattern was made up of glass squares over a checkerboard pattern. Some of the squares had little jagged holes in the middle. May I ask you something? You may ask. What's the story with the glass chessboard? A glass chessboard? Oh, the pattern on the lectern. Purely decorative, I'm sure. There are pieces of glass missing from it. Oh. 
it has been like that since I was a girl. The gaps in the glass chessboard look awfully deliberate. No, it is ridiculous. What possible significance can it have? It's part of a chessboard, and the gaps are for... Senor Stobart, you cannot mean... This place was built for the Templars. Your chess set is as old as the Templars. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? I think this must be it. This is what the manuscript is pointing to. This is extraordinary. Am I to understand that the Templars left a puzzle here? And in all of this time we failed to realize that there was a puzzle? It was wonderful to watch the Countess change before my eyes. Right! Well, no time for wallowing in self-pity, eh, Senor Stobart? This mystery has had a good long run, but it ends here and now. All those years of fatalism were falling away from her. Lopez! Lopez! Put that hose down and listen! Go to the house and get my chest set! Yes! The old chest set! Oh, damn the game! Now hurry! Am oh I? This is exciting, is it not? Don't get too excited. I, this could be a blind alley. Oh, I do not believe that for a moment. It's good to see you happy. Happy? <laughs> you know, I think I am. You certainly know your history. What's your opinion of the Templars, Senor Stobart? The Templars? Well, they seem no worse than a lot of the knightly orders. Uh, you are mistaken. Compared to the simpering politicians of the hospitalers or the brutish Teutonics, the Knights Templar were the embodiment of chivalry. The filthy, money-grabbing French king and his pet pope did a great wrong. A bane settled upon my family at the whim of that self-seeking tyrant. It was all a long time ago. Some things don't die. Injustice is one of them. While we're waiting, I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, the curse and everything? It all began at the time of the dissolution of the Templars. Don Carlos had already left their ranks to become a scholar. Don Carlos? Is he the guy who went missing? Si, but he had reckoned without the local bishop. The bishop envied us our lands and determined to use the papal edict as an excuse to destroy us. Don Carlos was on one of his scholarly journeys when the Inquisition arrived. When Don Carlos returned, it was to find his loyal manservant slain and his children gone. They took the kids? But why? Oh, we will never know. The bishop denied all knowledge of the children's disappearance. But witnesses had seen his men kill the servant who had been charged to protect them. What happened to Don Carlos? Uh, he swore he'd find his children if he had to go to the edge of the world. He put on his armor and took up his sword and shield and rode out alone. He was never seen again. Ah, Lopez, you have the pieces. Si, sí, my lady, as you asked. Por favor, Senor Stobart, would you be so kind? My lady. Calm yourself, Lopez. I believe Senor Stobart's motives are pure. Very well, my lady. My lady seems to trust you. But you don't. No, senor. It fits, senor Stoba. It fits. Working quickly, I found which pieces went into which holes. Senor 
Dr. Stobart, look! What is that? It's not... It's not the Holy Grail, is it? No, Senor Stobart. It is the communion chalice of the De Vasconcelos. Missing for almost 700 years. Wow! Well, go on. I... I cannot. I can hardly believe it is real. Ah, uh, go ahead. Live a little. I'm sure. This is your moment of triumph, Senor Stobart. Sure, I'm sure. The possibility of death traps only occurred to me a few days later.